My name is Stephen Blake from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and welcome to the Upcycle Files here on my YouTube channel. In this episode of the Upcycle Files we are doing part two of how to upcycle a dining table. In this video I will be taking you through the process of how to get the dining table finished. Thanks guys, let's get straight into the video. Right guys, as you notice we've, we've took the table apart. Um, I do have the other legs there behind me, they're already um, got a coat of paint on them. Yeah, so what we're going to start with is, is just, <coughs> I suppose, giving it a dust, quick dust off from all the sanding. And then I've got a wipe just to get any of it. Right, I've got this little bit of towel here, so I'm not going to get any paint on the underneath it. What I've got here is some um, Zinza. It's um, a shellac based. Um, paint sealer stain killer type paint I mean it's good for these types of projects you know you can put it on and it dries really quick like I say it's it's shellac based so it takes um it methylated spirits to to clean your brushes out you can use undercoat as well guys it just means it'll take a bit longer to dry right I prefer to take my bar to paint them, it's just that bit. Easier. I mean, this is a good base coat, is this Zinza stuff. Stick that with the other legs to dry. And what we're left with are these sides. I, mean, I just enjoy anything sort of um, DIY. You know, I love, I especially love doing um, stuff like this, where you bring stuff that was going in the bin really back to life, and hopefully giving it a new home. Yeah, I've decided I'm going to paint these bits and the legs grey. If you notice there, that's where the table slides in this groove here. So I'm not painting that. Because we still want the table to move so it can extend.
actually really The good thing is, is at least it's all first coated now and it's drying. Um, that's a, a weight off my mind and another job done for the day. Just give it all a light and sand down. And when using oil based paints I like to leave it at least sort of 24 hours in between each coat depending on um, temperature maybe out here in this um, shed a, a, a bit longer because it's a, obviously it's getting cold now so soon we'll be able to put these legs on start working on the tabletop. And that guys is now a free coat of paint. Okay. Right then guys, as you can see, we've put the legs on and we've turned it back round the other way. Um, we are starting to get um, a table together here, aren't we again? Right then, I suppose what we're going to be doing is working on the um, table top. I mean, as you know, we, we sanded it in a previous video. What I'm going to do is, is, is I've got some um, 120 grit here um, sandpaper I'm just going to give it smooth off sand and did chew it up in some places that's why I've sort of done that right the next Rag. 
what I've what I've decided I'm going to use for this is um, Ronsil interior varnish. It's a quick drying varnish with diamond hard protection, which is quite good for um, table tops. So let's get on with it. And also what I'm using here is a, is a, a synthetic tipped brush as well, it's a Hamilton Prestige and they're absolutely ideal for water based paint. I mean, this is this is a satin light oak um, colour, which I sort of forgot to make doing it. I suppose that I should do the edges first, but I can do it any way I want to, really. But if I was you, do your edges first. Two or three coats, I'm just going to see what it's like after. After the second coat, but it's already starting to improve. I mean, as soon as I see this table, I know we can do a little something with it. Right guys, before I give this table its second and final coat, what it needs is a light sand down because once you've generally applied a coat of varnish or a, or a coat of any sort of paint, the wood it, the wood furs up and it furs up in, in, in more play, in some places more than others. But you can just generally feel it. Um, so the best thing to do is to get some 120 um, grade sandpaper. And just once again, give it the one so obviously there's a bit that needs a little bit more pressure. But just, you know, and then that smooths it right off. And then the edge is a little flick. You can just feel it, you can feel it before and after. It's such a huge difference. Just give it a wipe with a turpsy rag.
Right guys, this is for you that stuck with us to the end with this video. Thank you very much. Um, that is a upcycle or refinish uh, a dining table. What I would also like to say is I learned a hell of a lot through this process. But also, this table needs some chairs guys. So tune in in four weeks time for when I will upcycle this chair so this table can have some chairs. So if you like the video, please like, please share and please subscribe and please hit that notification button so you can be notified of when our next video is coming. Thank you very much.